Hello everyone, welcome back to Amin Maths Club. So we have a question which is e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x all over 2 which is equal to 1. So we have to find the value of x here. Now we are going to start our solution. First of all we are going to cross multiply here. So by cross multiplication we just put here 1 denominator here 1. So multiplying these term with this 1 so we get e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x multiply by 1 which is equal to 2 times 1 here so we are going to just solve all this solution step by step now here we get e raised to power x times 1 we get uh, same uh, this uh, expression e raised to power minus x which is equal to 2 times 1 is 2 so now as we know that uh, if we have by exponential identity if we have a raised to power minus 1 we can just write a over 1 over a so here e raised to power x this can be written as 1 over e raised to power x which is equal to 2 so now we are going to multiply here just multiplying on um, that uh, e raised to power x on both side so we have e raised to power x multiply by all these terms both terms e raised to power x minus 1 over e raised to power x which is equal to e raised to power x times 2. Now here we see that if we multiply e raised to power x with e raised to power x we get e raised to power x minus e raised to power x with 1 over e raised to power x which is equal to 2 times e raised to power x. So here e raised to power x times e raised to power x can be written as e raised to power 2x minus cancelling e raised to power x we get 1 and 2 raised to power 2 times e raised to power x so here uh, by this exponential identity if we have a raised to power m times n we just write here a raised to power m whole power n so it can be written as e raised to power x whole square then shifting this one we get minus 2 e raised to power x and this minus 1 which is equal to 0 so now here we see that it is actually uh, that uh, it's just showing quadratic equation and we know that by general form of quadratic equation which is uh, if we have a x square plus b times x plus c which is equal to 0. So it is actually it is what it is general form of the general form of quadratic equation. So we know that uh, by quadratic formula here. Uh, if we have this general form of quadratic equation then we can use quadratic formula so we know that quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a so here uh, we just um, write this one here so first of all we are going to write the values of a b and c here from this equation here we have value of a is actually here it is 1 because coefficient of this e raised to power x is 1. So value of b is equal to minus 2 because coefficient of e raised to power x is minus 2. And c is also constant and here c is minus 1. So we just put minus 1. Now using uh, quadratic formula here. So we get e raised to power x is equal to that minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a so by putting values we get minus b is actually minus times minus 2 plus minus b square is minus 2 whole square and minus 4 times a times c we have 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 1 so all over 2 times a is 1 so now here we have e raised to power x is equal to minus time minus is plus so 2 plus minus square root minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 and minus uh, here we get minus time minus is plus so 4 times 1 is 4 all over 2 times 1 is 2 and our next step is 2 plus minus here at square root all over 2 so our next step is e raised to power x is equal to 2 plus minus this add can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 square root all over 2 and 2 plus minus 
we can just uh, write this uh, 2 times 2 is 2 square so 2 square is 4 and square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 2 all over 2 so now our next step is e raised to power x is equal to we are just taking 2 is common so here we get 1 plus minus square root of 2 all over 2 so cancelling 2 with 2 we have e raised to power x is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 2 so here uh, we see that e raised to power x has two values we just write uh, first value is e raised to power x is 1 plus square root of 2 and other one is e raised to power x it is equal to 1 minus square root of 2 but when we see uh, this value here we see that uh, 1 minus square root of 2 it is actually it is actually uh, 1 minus square root of 2 it will be less than the value of 0 so 1 minus square root of 2 is less than 0 hence we get e raised to power x which is also less than 0 so we are going to just reject it, this, uh, this value of e raised to power x so we just use uh, this value here e raised to power x 1 plus square root of 2 so now by solving this we are going to just uh, taking uh, here natural log which is natural log on both hand side then we have here natural log of e raised to power x which is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 2 but we also know that uh, that natural log of natural log of e raised to power a is equal to a so here we see that this step will be natural log of e raised to power x which is equal to x by this uh, that uh, rule so we have x is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 2 so it is our final answer it is a uh, value of x that we have just find out so it is our answer now you can just check our entire solution step by step and i hope you have understand all these steps and if you feel any problem you just ask question in comment box so that's it for today don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting contents thanks for watching goodbye